some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Westchester, New York, with the Long Island fraudster Sean Paul Reyes, as he is doing a retaliation audit for his butt buddy, auditing Erie County when he got booted out three times. The link will be above and in the description box below. But you know what? Sean Paul Reyes exposes himself as a complete liar in the video, and he, he ends up getting kicked out himself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today, we are at the Westchester County Office Building here in White Plains, New York. We are here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. No, don't lie to us, uh, Sean. We all know what this is. This is a retaliation audit for uh, auditing Erie County because he got tossed out of that building three times in less than an hour. You know, it's funny. You idiots complain about cops being the ones who retaliate all the time. But when it's one of your buddies that gets thrown out of a building, that's what you do. You come over here to retaliate against them. And, well, it doesn't end very well for you now, does it, my boy? Hey, sir, how are you? This is the one that was closed last time. Right. I just need to see the legal department. The other side. Yeah, I have a FOIL request for the legal department here. For the legal department, I want to submit it in person with them. The way they do the FOIL request is they ask you to write your request. And they leave it in the 6-4 mailbox. And they come down and receive it. Okay. So, I wanted to access the public building though and speak to them myself a mailbox can't answer my questions about the foil requests and it can't have a dialogue with me as a public servant that's why they're paid to be here right but this is a building that's open to the public correct it's not a public forum right no no i understand what the difference is between between forums but never tell the truth and a lie will do Sean, you are definitely lying here. I mean, if you actually knew what a non-public forum was, you wouldn't have gotten banned from so many other places, such as courthouses, libraries, and other places. But you either don't know it, or you choose to ignore it and make up your own bullshit narratives and everything like that to suit your needs. People can, members of the public can enter into this building than uh, anybody can. Go ahead, ma'am. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Actually, that's not the law. It's, it's only certain um, designated areas right. for public access. Right. But it's. <laughs> there's designated areas that are public you're, access. Yeah, you're in the designated area. I'm going to the ninth floor. Yeah, sure. I'm with senior programs. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. Thank so she's not a government worker yet. Is she a government worker? Hey, sir, how are you? Hey, so I just wanted to ask you another question. I'll take that. I just wanted to ask you guys another question. Why is it that you have a picture of me hanging right below the uh, in the security office there? I'm curious about that. I saw I saw a video with a picture of me hanging from the security desk. It's right behind there, right? Yeah, I've been here before. I'm just recording like I am now. No. Oh, nothing, nothing illegal or criminal happened. So I was just wondering why do you have a picture of me that you downloaded off of Google hanging on for security purposes? I'm not a security threat or anything like that. I just saw a video where an officer Lau, I believe his name was, he pushed a journalist out of this building three times um, physically, uh, pushing him out of the building. And when I was watching the body camera footage from one of the officers, I saw that there was a picture of me to my surprise. Um, so do you know the reason why there's a picture of me behind the security desk? 
uh, Sean, have you gotten thrown out so many places that you can't keep track of what you did in every single one of them? Because I'm sure at some point uh, in your history, you must have come into this building and caused some trouble as per usual. So I guess that would be the reason why it is uh, on the wall. But I'm sure we'll find out later on. I, you know, I'm not supposed to say. You're not supposed to say? I, I can answer that. I don't know. <clears throat> you don't know. Yeah, because I don't know when were you here. Right. I was here probably last year. I was here I was here last year. I don't remember the exact date I was here. Um I, I went to go speak to the legal department. Um Yeah, last time I was here, this is why I'm I'm a little bit confused. Last time I was here I was able to access the building, the publicly accessible areas of the building, go to the public lobbies of each department, not in any restricted areas or anything like that. And this is the, you know, Westchester County office building. Um, you know, there are offices that are open to the public that are here. I saw them personally myself when I was here last time. So I just don't understand why I can't access the building the same way I accessed, accessed it last time. Okay, well, the uh, policy was provided to us there. And, uh, was this recently implemented? Uh, a few months ago, I believe. They need to access to deliver documents. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm yeah, delivering yeah, documents. Yeah. Gee, Sean, why do you got to keep on lying about the reasons why you're here? We all know the reason why you're here. And you explained it earlier to them. You got your will feelings hurt when you saw your picture in your butt buddy's video. And you're here to, uh, well, uh, retaliate against these people for daring to kick your friend out of the building. Do you want us to call a ambulance or the feelings police on for you? I mean, I'm sure they could give you a little blankie to calm your nerves and a warm glass of hot chocolate that might help soothe those nerves as well. Ah, I cry like Snoopy. Ah! No, I'm going to write it down when I get there. It's a FOIL okay, request. They don't, they don't do that. They don't go up there and just start writing. You have to complete a form with you, and then they'll come down and take it up from you. If that's what you want to do, that's just the, that is the policy that, that they have up there. That's what they do. Right. So if you don't want, but even in the policy, it says that I can serve documents on them. Yeah, we have to see the documents. We'll call up there that you're allowed to go up, and then you're free to go up there. Okay, so as long as I have a FOIL request with me, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. With respect to certain meetings, all right. Let me take a look at this. Yeah, can you please explain to me why? If, if your picture was hanging somewhere behind a security desk, you'd be kind of uneasy, especially because I didn't commit any crimes here. Can I, get, can I have your name because I can help you? Well, yeah, my name, uh, my name is Kamanad. My name is Sean. Okay. My name is Sean. Okay. You, have you, you have my picture there. Obviously, you know my name. You look it up and say why we have your picture. Right, right, right. My I'm name is Sean. No, no, my name is Sean. Sean Paul Reyes. Okay. Right. I, I mean, I'm not worried about giving you my name. You have my picture. Okay. No, no, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> it's literally right there behind uh, that computer. Why? Yeah, if you can, if you contact a supervisor or something of security or. Call supervisor, but I can just. Yeah, or I don't know how else you'd know. I was, you know, I'm just concerned that you know my picture is hanging in a government building, um, and I want to know the reason why. Uh, as a member of the public, I think I have a right to know I why. See if we have anything locked down. Right. Why. Yeah. No problem. So my picture is right. It's hanging right there at the corner of the desk. When the law enforcement officers were here, when the supervisor came with Dan and they got the uh, body camera footage, I saw my picture just hanging there and I am a member of the public. I wanna know why my picture is hanging in a government building. I think that's a fair question to ask. Also, I noticed in the video, sir, the this is an ID reader. Yeah. Anybody who comes in, anybody who comes in the building, surrenders their identification when they come into this building. Yes. And do you log it into a database, or is it just to get their name? Like, what's the purpose of I, what's the purpose of getting people's driver's license when they enter a public building? Uh, just to make sure it's people that are not uh, applying or, or uh, accessing the building. For security reasons. For safety reasons. For safety reasons. Hey, Sean. Has none of this ever clicked with you as to the reason why they may, might ID people 
the various reasons why identification is required in these buildings. I'll give you a good one. Let's say there was a tornado that came through there. I know that tornadoes are not exactly common in New York compared to the Midwest, but let's say there was a tornado that came through and the building was destroyed, but the database was on a network so that way it could be easily accessible. That way they could figure out who was in the building at that particular time and uh, cross-reference that with people that they know managed to make it out of the building so they could probably get a good idea of who was in there and who made it out and who most likely didn't. Is that easy enough for you to understand, uh, Sean Paul dumbass, or do I have to go a little bit slower for your lack of intelligence? So somebody's driver's license tells you if they're a safe person or not, right? Put your picture up because last time you were here, I don't know who was, I don't know if the security guys were out there, the police officer was that was here, but I guess you said you were going to the sixth floor. They called up there for your like appointment and you went to different floors and started recording people. Gotcha, bitch! And that's the reason why you were uh, kicked out last time? Gee, Sean, you went against their policy and uh, started going up to restricted areas. Aren't you the little liar now? Right. You know where you said you were going? Right, no, I, I I was at the sixth floor, but once I was in the building, I just went other. Sixth floor, it says on there that you never went to the sixth floor. Sixth floor is the legal division. Yeah, yeah that's where I was. That's where I was when the officers, because they called they called law enforcement when I was here. Um, it's all on video, that's why I record. But they called law enforcement, and that's where I was. But I did look around. I'm a journalist, so I was looking around. Right. Around the other. Yeah, I was just looking around the other publicly accessible areas. I didn't go anybody's private offices or anything like that. So, but what's the purpose for it? Just because, you know, I, I, I just want to know why the government is keeping, you know, you guys are the government and you're keeping a photo of me hanging in a security office in, and, and what's the purpose is, am I not allowed in the building? Well, I just, I, I can check that for you. I don't know right. I mean, I would just, I would like to know what, 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 what's the implications because you have a picture of me. So I want to know. Is it to keep me out of the building? Is it to enforce rules on me? Because if, if rules are being enforced on me in spe uh, specifically, that could be an issue that I have to take up with my attorney in the court. Yeah, so I said, yeah, yeah, subject's not allowed unless you carry off the building. So I'm not allowed in the building? Subject to what happened last time they By going into other publicly accessible areas. I mean, I didn't go into the restricted areas. Right. See, that's why I wanted to come here and make sure because, you know, I saw in the body camera footage my picture, I was really shocked, and then I was like, well, what's the purpose of it, right? So I wanted to drive over here and find out what's the purpose. So I, I'm not allowed inside Western, uh, Westchester County office building? Okay, all right, well, I'll have to take that up. Thanks for letting me know. I'm gonna do a FOIA request for the uh, for that order. That, that should be, that's in writing rights in the system. So I'll, I'll do a FOIA request for that order and I'll take it up with my attorney. Okay, because okay. you know, just so you know, I didn't know that beforehand, so don't arrest me for trespassing. <laughs> I had no idea until I saw the picture. All right, guys, take care. We're going to try and get rid of that uh, driver's license policy, too. Absolutely ridiculous. I am banned from the building. <laughs> and that's exactly why we came over here. I never received any notice whatsoever that I was banned from the building. The Westchester County office building has banned me throughout Dan from auditing, auditing Erie County and has banned me for, you heard, the conduct that I engaged in, which is constitutionally protected, statutorily protected here in New York State, just filming government in the course of their duty. Again. Sean, you know better than that. They already told you the reason why. It's not because they hate the Constitution or anything like that, like you frauditors say. But you were supposed to be on the sixth floor only going to the legal department, but you decided to go, go into other areas of the building that were most certainly restricted access. And you show it on this video as well. That shows that you're a complete freaking dumbass for even posting it to begin with. Can I help you? Um, who are you? My name is Lindsay. Can I help you with something? Hi, Lindsay. My name's Sean. Hi, Sean. How can I help you? Uh, you work for the Department of Public Works? Correct. How can I in, help you? In what capacity? I work for the commissioner. How can I help you? I don't, I don't need any help right now. What are you doing here? 
What do you mean, what am I doing here? You're filming? Yeah, I'm taking some pictures and videos, That's correct, yeah. For? Oh, for myself. I'm an independent journalist. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Lindsay. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Can I help you? Uh, who are you? I'm a construction coordinator here, and you? Oh, my name's Sean. What's your name? Roman. Roman. Nice to meet you, Roman. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, I don't need any help from the construction coordinator. Right. Yeah, no. I don't uh, need any. What are you doing? Videotaping? Yeah, I'm taking some pictures and video. Oh, yeah, for what purpose? Oh, I'm an independent journalist. I'm just working on a story. Oh, you're an independent journalist? I'm an independent journalist, yeah. what company? Independent means that I work for myself. But, it's my uh, company. Yeah, but do you have permission to videotape this? Permission to videotape? Yes. From who? Who would I get permission from, Roman? Anybody who is in charge of here, like commissioner, deputy commissioner? Oh, the commission. No, I, I don't need their permission. I would have gotten it if I needed it. I, because it's a public building, right? Yeah, but you have an access card to get to the building? What do you mean? Yeah, sir. You can need an access card to get to the building. How did you get to the building? I passed through the metal detector and I came up in the building. And this card? An access card? I don't yeah. work here, though. So then you shouldn't be here videotaping. If I don't work here, I shouldn't be here videotaping? No. Yes. Why? Sure. Because if you cannot be here without without working here or doing anything here. Uh, yeah, I can be here. Not everybody that that's here here and works here. Permission. I don't need the permission. That yes, It's a public do. building, Roman. Yes, you do. But you came here with nothing, with no card, with nothing else. Yeah, but this is a public building. It's open to but the public, sir. I walked in. So because it's a public building, I passed through the metal detector, Listen, and I walked up here. How do you pass through the metal detector? You know, uh, you shouldn't make your lies so damn transparent that 95% of the world can see right through them. The, only, the other 5% that uh, are not able to see it are just complete and total uh, fraud or sycophants anyway. But anywho, uh, you did go through the metal detector, and you told them that you were going to go to the legal department, but instead you ended up in the Department of Public Works, uh, which is on the fifth floor, not the sixth floor, like you said you are going to. So you once again show your lies to everybody. Congratulations, Sean. You're a total moron. Detector when there's a guard sitting over there. Because I passed through the metal detector with the guard sitting there. And he let you in? Yeah. Did All right, so this is the sixth floor with the legal department. This is where we do our FOIA request. Hello, you're just gonna deny service, public services to the member of a public? Hello? Hey, I'm just trying to do that FOIA request. That yeah, I was they, trying... they're probably closed already, so the building closes in four minutes. Four minutes? Yeah, and for something like this, you need an appointment. So, you guys called them? Oh, yeah, if they're not answering, they're not, they're not there. So these are secure doors. I know you used to go in a public building. Yeah. These are secure doors. We got a call up and stuff like that. We but didn't you, call, you, I you know, did? We did. We gave it to you, right? We thought they were here. They're not. Someone's supposed to be there. They're not. They understand? Well, there was somebody. There was somebody here okay. when I got here. All right. They saw me and left. Okay. Well, so it's the, already they're, after hours. They're, they're denying. I have four minutes to conduct my business. You guys called up here. I don't understand what's the issue. Hey, Sean, uh, first of all, you were wandering around the fifth floor with your thumb practically up your ass, uh, wasting time down there when you should have been up here on the sixth floor uh, conducting your uh, business that you wanted to conduct before. And that cost you valuable time. And, well, that's on you for doing all that to begin with. So don't whine, cry, and complain that... They denied you service because they didn't have enough time left to complete the service. I mean, that's just business right there. And you should know that, you dipshit. Well, now that he's once again exposed to stupidity, let's go back to the present time and everything like that where he continues to complain. So to the left of the Westchester County office building, since I am barred from going inside of the office building, let's take a look around. As you can see, this is publicly accessible. Obviously, you need a permit to park here, but this is not designed in a way to exclude intruders. There aren't any no trespassing signs whatsoever. 
Let's take a look around. Maybe we can get a politician coming outside and we can ask him or somebody in the administration here and we can ask them exactly why, why is it that we are banned? Because you just saw the video. There is nothing that I did that would cause me to be banned from going inside the Westchester County office building. So this is the county executive here, apparently. I would love to speak to him and ask him. Why isn't it, how is it not a public area? There's What signs, can you show them to me? You saw your no, I, I, signs. I walked right over here. Yeah, it says all visitors must stop at the office before coming in here. Before? There's multiple. Where this path is right here? Yeah, there's multiple signs right there. You see the sign that you're aiming the camera at right there? That one says all visitors must sign in. What, on the other side of the sign? Yeah, the one that you would actually see when you're walking in. This sign, this one right here to the left. The sign that you would see when you're walking in. Right. Like Not when you're leaving. That so right here. Where does it say that? This is the sign that I would see when I'm walking in. Are you talking about this sign where you're driving in? You mean not walking and driving in then? I, mean, you can, I, I can see from across the street, so you can probably see that if you're walking in. Well, no, not if you're walking in from this way. But anyway, that just says for authorized parking. So I know in your mind that it says vehicles, but it extends to people as well, considering in order to drive on there, you've got to be an authorized vehicle. And only the authorized personnel can drive the authorized vehicles in there. So does that compute with you now, or are you too much of a dumbass to figure that out? It just says authorized parking only. I'm not parking. Sean, did you miss the part where it said all visitors must go to the office, which is around the building, not through this parking lot? Just questioning you on that as well. Heads up, it's not a public area. But I'm not, I'm not parking, sir. That doesn't change the fact that it's a public area or not. Well, you can't just make a public area restricted just off your words. It's not a public area. It's not a public there's building. nothing that says, there's nothing here that says, do you know the criminal trespass law? I'm actually very familiar with it. It has to be secured and, and, and designed in a way to exclude intruders. Okay. This is not secured and designed in a way to exclude intruders. Okay. There's no signage that says restricted area, employees only. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. So all I'm going based off is your word of you saying that it's restricted. Yeah, I'll just let you know. Right, but. Yeah. It, but you can film anything you want from here. That's, that's, you got it. Right, no, I'm just, I'm just trying to understand what is it that makes it restricted, just you, you saying it? It's just not a public area. I, I don't know how else to... But how do you know it's not a public area? It's not a public area. I, I'm just letting you know, all right? But how do you know, officer? Do you mind if I get your name and badge number before you go? Yasko, 1027. So I just want to make it clear. So if I walk into this, what I... We have difference of opinion. What I see is a yeah, well, you're not welcome publicly... You're not in the county building. I'm not in the county yeah, building. Or, yeah, so, and this is part of the property, so that's it. So I'm banned from this property as well. From when from this. Public, or when you came in the public accessible area, that was fine. What you did, but then we let you know that you were, that you weren't allowed in the building, and that's it. Okay, that's and so you're you saying I'm not allowed in the building. You're not allowed in the property. You're not allowed in the building. Okay, can I speak to a supervisor? Uh, see so if one wants to come out here. Yeah, just because you're telling me I can't come into a public building, so I just want to make sure. I'll wait right here, though. Friendly reminders that the government is always watching us. You heard them. We saw you on the security camera. But it always seems to be an issue. That is exactly why I am banned from the building and property. That's what it seems. Uh, so I called the boss. They said they're not sending anyone. If you have a problem or if you need a complaint, or you can call uh, headquarters. Okay. Uh, so I'm just. I just want to make it clear. I am banned from the Westchester County Office Building yeah, you can and the property. Right. Okay. I'm gonna take that up in court. All right. Sounds good. Well, all he does after this is whine, cry, and complain, and uh, threaten to file lawsuits. But we're not going to listen to that. We're going to uh, spend the last few seconds of the video enjoying his walk of shame and presenting him with a special gift at the end of the video. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we?
now that we've gone through this little walk of shame, let's go ahead and present you with a uh, brand new tube of Blackheart Knight's Butthurt Cream, the special formulated Elves uh, Edition, as it is guaranteed to cure any pain in your ass or, well, no money back in this particular case because, well, you're not paying for it. But I should caution you, though. The elves put something really special in this particular tube for you, so you might want to watch out for gigantic hemorrhoids. So I guess I should take that back, that it won't cure your pain in your ass, that it might just make it worse. So, yeah, blame the elves for that. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?